This is the Come A Girl Daily Podcast, written by Stephanie Bond. September 9th, Friday. Peace be with you, ladies. And also with you. I was happy to see Sister Irene hadn't been arrested for murdering the man who killed her sister. Yet. So, it's true then, the nun said, her voice high and sunny. Audrey did wake up. What a glorious miracle. I wish the same for you, Karen. And you, Jill. And you, Marigold. She prayed over each of us, stopping at my bed last. And since I've been contemplating the miracle of the life growing inside me, I actually listened this time, and even joined in the prayer Sister Irene uttered. You see... I've been negotiating with God lately. Okay, I realize he's holding all the cards, but I'm prepared to do just about anything if he will take care of my baby. Here's what I'm offering. I will stop taking his name in vain. Although it's such a habit, it might take some time. I will strive to forgive people who have wronged me, including Keith Young. Although... I'm a little conflicted between not wanting him to suffer, but hoping he can cough up enough cash to cover my medical bills and the repairs on my car. I will stop fornicating. Okay, that one's only applicable if I get out of this bed. But now I totally get the monumental potential of creating a human being every time I have sex. My hormones have been scared straight. I will try to mend my family. I don't know where things went wrong, but I know there is much disharmony among the camps. I've always had the feeling I was at the heart of my family's discontent, maybe even the cause. But I realize that's a selfish point of view. It's not about me. And now that I'm an adult, I share some of the blame if my family is in disarray. I want a chance to fix things. And if I don't wake up, I hope my child will be the conduit for love I haven't been. For the record, God hasn't let me in on whether it's enough or how long he'll make me wait to find out. How are you, Marigold? Sister Irene asked. You look especially peaceful today, like someone who has forgiven trespasses. She sighed. You might be wondering where I am on my own path of forgiveness. I so am, considering the last time she visited, she talked about filleting her sister's paroled murderer and cutting him up into chunks. Sadly, I'm not there yet, she whispered. But I've been reading the Bible every day. That sounds promising. You know... Ecclesiastes 3.3 says there is a time to kill. Uh Uh-oh. So, I bought a big knife. Yikes. Shh, she said close to my ear. Don't tell anyone. As if... Hello, this is Stephanie Bond, author of the Come A Girl Daily Podcast. You can give the gift of podcasting to a friend by showing them how to find an interesting podcast and how to subscribe. I hope you will consider sharing Come A Girl with someone you think would enjoy the story. Thanks so much for your support and come back tomorrow for another episode of Come A Girl.